Okay, here we go. We're going to work on a couple of things here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to cut the arms out. So what we're going to do is go through this and we're going to cut round this off down here. Alright, we're going to round each side off first. And remember, this is coming down like this, okay, on this arm. So it's going to go up a little bit higher. So we're going to dig out behind there a little bit. And this is going to come out a little different as well. Um, I'm trying to figure out how we, ah, that would work. We're going to go up a little higher, right in here, just like so. I'm going to do one side, and you're going to do the other side offline, okay? And you're going to dig down into the, this little, um, we're going to do like a triangle shape out. Okay, just like that. See? See how we did that? Okay. And we're going to do the same thing to the other. I'll do that offline. Just showing you how to do it one side and you can go ahead and do the other. Okay. Once you get that cut out, then you can round this arm a little bit more like an actual arm just like so get up there with a little pointer okay and then what you're going to do I'm going to do this half later you're going to take your knife and you're going to push down and you're going to take this up just like so alright just follow that up well, I'm going to do both sides and I'm going to do that underside later just to show you. So we're going to cut this, whoops, let's cut this out over here a little further. Just like that. Now you can use your little sweep tool if you want or you can use a knife. I rather use a knife. It's just my preference most of the time, 90% of the time. But that, those sweep tools, those gouges do come in handy just getting into areas. You know, like I always said, you buy what you need, folks. You know, you don't have to buy everything under the sun right away. But you'll notice what you're interested in and what you want to get into as you are carving. And as you get into it more, you know, you can add things as you go. You know, I'm sure all the supply houses would love to sell you everything under the sun. Not all of them, but I'm just saying, you know, um, like, the major ones that are out there, they would love to sell you every tool there, but not every tool is not always necessary either. Uh, some people are just a tool junkie and they love everything that, that's around. And there's nothing wrong with that either. You know, if it's a hobby and you enjoy it and you've got the money and you can do it, that's fine. You know, it does make it interesting when you can buy the tools that you need and, you know, work as you go here. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up a little bit further. And I'm just going to round this portion off. We're going to leave, we're going to put a little, uh, we're going to find the center here. Let me find the center of the arms here. We're going to just put one little slit down the center. Okay, we're going to part them just like that. Just put a little parting tool there. Okay. And what we're going to do is gonna just round that off. We're going to just kind of blend everything together a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other side, the underside here. I'm not real fancy with the hands. It's going to be pretty simple. You can get really elaborate with hands and arms and feet and all that. So we're going to just go around here and just trim everything out. Okay. Okay. See how see how that's worked out. We're gonna just kind of smooth this out a little bit up here. Kind of blend it in. Okay. We got one. We've got one arm done. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to put the what type of fingers. So it looks like he's folding his hands. We'll do that in a little bit. That's not gonna be real difficult. So when you're offline. Go ahead and do the other side, which I will do. 
we'll go to the feet. We'll do the hair. The halo needs a little bit of work yet. And it's still too thick for my liking. So we're going to trim some of that off a little bit more. And then we're going to put a hole in the center. Um, and I'm going to do that with this little one too. I was going to drill it, but I think considering I'm going to see if I can get a little gouge or even just a little knife. You know, you can go in there and, and take a knife, follow it, and dig it out that way too. So that will take a little um, extra time, but that's fine. And uh, we'll put a patch on his arm in a bit here. But I'm going to I'm gonna keep doing this a little bit here. This is not to my liking yet. Let me let me round this up because it's a little too square for me. You know, and folks, you know, when you're carving, just pull back from it a little bit and, and take a look at it and see if it's if it's to your liking. You know, see if you enjoy what you if you like what you see with it. Same thing with the back of the wings here. We're gonna just go under we're gonna undercut it a little bit. So we're gonna cut it upward. See how I'm doing it a little bit underneath? And we're just gonna undercut that. Just like so. Okay? It's not difficult. It's just a few cuts here and there to make make it worth your while to cut it. Okay? There's a lot more to do on the wings yet, so we're not near done yet. I need a little more patience with this project than the others. It's a little more steps to do and things like that. See how we have that kind of rounded up? We're going to round this bottom up a little bit. And the back. Oops. Got to be careful you don't chip it like that. But that's okay because we're going to make it round anyway. So we're going to try to round it up a little bit better. Okay. Just like that. And we can round this off a little bit more too. That'll be fine. Because really when you look at it, it's really from the edges. So this is not really, this edge is not sticking out here. Okay. You're, you're going to round it anyway. So. And of course, those flat ones are a lot easier to do. Um, they're not as intricate as these are, you know. But let me go back here, and I'm going to just kind of swoop it out a little bit. Scoop it out. And you can undercut there a little bit to give it some depth. That's always nice to see, too, you know. Just like that. Okay. So he's coming, folks. Um, <laughs> we we're going to do something with the halo. We'll we'll do that. We've got to put hair on him yet. And we're gonna. That's going to take some work um, as well. Um, I know these videos are a little bit longer because I'm trying to show you as much of the carving as I can possibly show you at, without getting offline to take care of a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I'm going to round that head just a tad more. See, it's a little square yet, but I'm going to make this a bit thinner on both sides. You know, about about that much will come off yet on either side. So I don't want that real big sticking out. But you know what? He's coming along pretty good. I think um, once I get this side done, you'll see a, a transformation on this carving a little bit. And it's been fun. Um, and we'll be back. Bye-bye.